Hey guys, this is G and let's make this incredible swipe today. Before we get started, let's take a moment to like appreciate the crispness and juiciness of these cells. All right, we've got cells in multiple colors. We've got lacing. We don't have any warping of the cells. And here's the good news. You don't need any flow twirl for this. Yep, that's right. You heard me. You don't need any flow twirl for this. We can use any medium. I'm using acrylic varnish and water. Um, that's because our varnish in Egypt is thick. If you decide to use varnish wherever you are, uh, your varnish will probably be runnier than mine, so you can skip the water part, okay? I'm working with a medium consistency, so it's if you're using flow to roll, that, that consistency would be two to one to create a medium. We're talking about a mound that sits on top of the paint for a second at most and then sinks. The reason I give the recipe in flow troll is because there's so many people that have flow troll, they will understand the consistency from that. But if you don't have flow troll, what we're looking for is when you drizzle the paint off the stick, it hangs out on the surface of the paint for about a second. Okay? So the base, everything is really this recipe, but the ingredient that we're adding here to create cells is a cell additive called silicone oil. We are putting one drop in each of the colors except the white. So the white in the base has no silicone. The white I'm gonna add right now to swipe with also has no silicone. But the two shades of purple, the pink, the orange, the yellow, and the turquoise all have one drop of silicone each, okay? So I'm adding um, the white at the very edge of the canvas, and I'm going to swipe with a regular tissue, very gently let it sit. I like tissues because you can see them get wet from above, so you know you're making contact with the paint. Very slowly, this is in real time, by the way, I haven't sped up this video at all. Swipe across the canvas. And here's the thing, if you're not using flow troll, this is what it's supposed to look like. Flow troll will help the cells jump to the surface without using any heat. But if you're using retail pouring medium, if you're using PVA glue and water, if you're using varnish like me, any of the elastic pouring mediums, you will need a heat source to bring them to the surface. So before we do that, I want to tilt um, the canvas in the direction from where you swiped from to kind of maintain your gradient. If I had kept it as is, we would have lost a lot of the turquoise and had a majority of purple at the top. Okay, so I'm happy with this tilt. And now I'm just going to fetch the torch and introduce some heat. It's best to use your torch on its lowest setting so you can safely get close to the paint without burning it. Uh, remember, it, you never want to see any fumes. It, it, if you see fumes, you've been heating it for too long. Uh, you want to move your hand relatively quickly around the paint. It really doesn't take much, by the way. Like you won't, it won't feel like you're cooking the paint. It's more like passing your hand over it quickly. And there you go. As you can see, the the silicone comes to the surface relatively quickly. And what looked like a, you know, a swipe that didn't actually work the way it was intended to now reveals a canvas completely covered in cells and we didn't need any float roll to do it so you can do it with float roll but you don't need float roll float roll only serves the purpose of being a pouring medium and any other pouring medium will do the same thing i hope you enjoyed this video this was g and i'll see you in the next one